Okay, after the very brief interval, I'm back. Um, everything is working as it should be. Although, funnily, the issue that we had last time where um, Twitch swore blind that <laughs> we were playing Pac-Man, we could not get it to say Overwatch. But now that I'm playing a different game, it is perfectly happy to admit that uh, I am playing Overwatch, but I'm not. <laughs> So I don't know if this is like a bug with um, the Elgato software that maybe it goes off the last game that you had, I don't know. Ah, I, sorry, I just messed up that angle by putting the camera in. I'm trying to get the cat in view for you. Because <laughs> I figure at least if Jack's not around then you can see my little kitty. So this black <laughs> blob is her. <laughs> Maybe she will interrupt things later just to spruce things up. Um, I'm just going to do a couple of final checks before I get going again. Um, make sure all sound is going fine. Yeah, everything looks good. And well, let's get back to it. Now come on now, it's 643 Valley. Betty just came up with that name herself. I don't think she has the right. <laughs> oh, look at that, gaming instinct. <laughs> uh, that seems to be the only one though. Oh, I think I can take life from them. What, can I give you life? No, that doesn't think. Okay. health. <laughs> Quantum death which shall be allows you to return to life back in time. Huh. So valley health. I wonder if I have to keep the health of the valley to a certain level then. Life must be traded for life. The more you die, the more the valley will die around you until it's fully deadened. Without enough life in the valley, you cannot be revived. Give life back to a plant or animal to revitalize it. Oh. Okay, we're nearly full. We're nearly full. Um, Is there another dead tree? That's not good. Not enough. There we go. According to my interpretations, 
Once every thousand years, the Titan Tree will produce the mythological and famed Life Seed, said to possess the power to shatter the world into fragments. No wonder the military is so interested in this place. The tree produces a Life Seed? Okay, I've just realized the compass mark is uh, where I need to be heading. I should have realized that sooner. Follow the time tree roots that take all the obelisks. Those acorn doors are pretty neat. Captain Hall orders us to collect enough acorns to open all the passageways in sector 3. I'm about halfway there. <laughs> That's so weird and adorable. <laughs> Because now I've got this vision of this captain, he's like, I need, I want to block off this door and I need some keys, but I really want to make them the shape of acorns, or maybe we can use acorns in some way. <laughs> captain, why do we need acorns? Just show up and find me fucking acorns. <laughs> I mean, I wanted an explanation for them, but I don't know if that sounds right. <laughs> Oh, okay. She's Virginia. I'm gonna call her Betsy. I don't really care. Sacred trees are common in mythologies around the world. They act as symbols of growth, decay, and resurrection. Some act as concepts such as the world tree, Idris Sil, Norse mythology, which provide a map for the composition of the universe, acting as a link between heaven, earth, and the underworld. But more recently, in Christian belief, the tree of life represents the immaculate state of humanity before its exposure to original sin, causing it to fall. Okay, okay. Well, let's follow. Whoa. It's weird. Uh, why have I lost sound? Chance for a lot of golden acorns will drop. <laughs> Let's use acorns to open so they can choose us! <laughs> oh, the whole acorn thing is just like fucking me up. So it looks like I'm still following a route. So if you spell it D-A-E-M-O-N, it's still demon. I've had this conversation with people who read the Philip Pullman series, like the um, Northern Lights and the Amos Glass, they're demons. It says right at the start that that's how you pronounce D-A-E-M-O-N. See, this lady has an issue with naming things however the fuck she wants. You gotta go off faith, then I don't need to. Because I can just watch this. Ah, that's cool. So I assume I go there at some point. Oh, there's like towers and stuff. It's very Lotheringsy. Uh, Acorns! Yay! 
My brother tell me sorry of demons. I'm gonna call them demons. I don't give a shit. <laughs> My brother tell me sorry of demons. It's ghostly and benevolent nature spirits. That name seems fitting. It will have to do for now until as we all just can classify the forest sprites more perfectly. Sorry, I keep uh, thinking that's gonna be a pickup. <sighs> uh, okay, the roots still stop going up there. Oh, okay. Does he slip? I keep thinking X is going to be the one that does everything. So I assume this. I can't really see what that is. Uh, boom. I assume it's something I can play. Okay, let's go. I see. I'm going to see if I can climb this back down. Drop any egg bombs for me. Yes, is the answer. Uh, let's keep top top with an energy. Whoa! Alright. Let's go for this one to the forest. Forest Oh, I look at the stag! So if we're running a sort of running gag now at this point in our house that we have stags everywhere and this gets worse when it's Christmas time <laughs> because twice now I've bought models of stags because they're quite Christmassy. Uh, but one kind of ended up staying up permanently because I really liked it and because it was just sort of like a fake glass mold. Um, So it, it kind of looked like it was more. It didn't really look like an obvious Christmas According thing. To legend, the life speed is said to be a but I've got a wooden one as well, and that one comes out of Christmas. The earth into but I'm guessing that stags are kind of in are a lot as well, because I ended up buying like a red tartan stag saw that rogue that I really liked. And I kind of. <laughs> But at this point I commented to someone when we bought one and I was like, oh I wanted to get more pillows and things for the house, but I've got to be careful because there are some really nice stag cushions that I like, but I don't want the house to fill up with stag things because that would be weird. And then what people proceeded to do was give me gifts of stag decorations. Which were amazing, but and now it's like we're a bit obsessed. <laughs> and in fact someone asked, what is the Scottish theme? Is, is one of you Scottish? Because we seem to have now like two things that are both tartan and have a stag on them. And we said, 
no Scottish things whatsoever. Neither is Scottish. We have no special connection to Scotland, other than I like going there. We just have a lot of tartans and dyes. <laughs> and the potential for me to buy a sty cushion is still there. <laughs> so there you go. Um, we have... So at Christmas, there's one, two models, the rug, a framed decoration that someone got me, and a wire decoration, like metal decoration of a stag that someone got me. So that's five stag decorative items in the house. I feel like that's a bit much. Oh well. But this is the thing that when you're an adult and you have your own place, you can, you can decorate it however you want with as many animal related iconography as you want. <laughs> but it's things like this that make people assume that certain animals are like my favourite animal. So there was like a running joke at work that on a Friday on the group work chat thing that I would share an otter picture because it was cute and authors are amazing and then the subject came up of you know favorite animals or uh, basically someone hinted the fact that oh emma was like her favorite animals the otter and I'm like, well i love otters i don't know if they're my favorite i'm waiting for this to collapse like the last one okay it's not doing so Holy shit, that's a huge fucking tree. Ah, okay, so that's the original tree that I'm pumping up. Ah, uh, that's not gonna be a good idea. Let's go back to the way I came. So, so far, there doesn't. There's not been any major challenges, um, but this might still sort of be the kind of tutorial slash first level. I mean, if it carries it on at this pace, um, I I'd be fine with that. Uh, I sometimes like a challenge, but generally, I for the experience um, so I'm very much into my walking simulators uh, yeah it can't um, but I suppose with this it just kind of depends on how much this sort of mechanic how long this can entertain me for I can show some slightly going on way. Uh, so I have heard about another mechanic, but I, like a hook shot or something, or a, a, something to do with riding wires. Uh, so we'll s I want to at least try and get to that if I can. Whoa. How did this civilization take hold so far north? The land here isn't arable, yet the population that lived here was clearly sedentary in nature. This leads me to believe this place was used as a secret ground. Are these monuments to the mythical cannibal giants of native lore? The Saiteka? 
So, what now? Side to car. See, and I'm still getting like, there's still more than enough of these like energy balls. So I've not yet had the opportunity where I've been forced to get life from something else. Um, which I'm assuming will happen as it gets harder. Let me see. Oh! Ooh! Okay. Yeah. Time for the error. Double jumping! Ah, but each boost costs one unit of energy. Okay. Now I'm starting to see. Now let's not waste these. Lead physicist, beginning pathfinder testing on the Icarus boost upgrade. The secondary boost augmentation to the lead suit should allow a pathfinder to jump twice in sequence through the air, increasing the height and distance of their lead drastically. Report any defects to a commanding officer immediately. <laughs> That's really amusing that <laughs> a scientist invented a double jump. While pyramids are coming throughout Mesoamerica, I still can't believe my eyes seeing one such structure here in the valley. Thankfully, the military had the decency to build one of their grotesque facilities a few hundred meters away. Apparently, the Pathfinders are seeking a way to get in by gathering artifacts. Cool. Okay, so as the suit's cooler and cooler stuff, it's going to require more energy from the land. Okay. And then the valley balance means that I can't just like go sapping it from every single tree. Um, I'm guessing I'll have to weigh this against how much energy is right lying around. And then another one! Why the how rarely a life dramatic sound? <laughs> I was so excited when I discovered there was one found in the valley. Apparently the military was just as excited as they immediately confiscated it to study at the Soma facility on the mountaintop. They won't let me anywhere near it. <laughs> that was a really weird music cue. <laughs> Like, there was no need for the damn piano chords whatsoever, because nothing that dramatic happened, because it's not there. Uh, okay. Damn it, I needed a run up then. So something else that kind of suddenly put me off for a while getting this game was the first person element. Um, I'm not a huge fan of being in first person, um, but this is really fun. <laughs> I might be changing my mind about that. Whoa! Holy shit! Oh, maybe I should have tried to get in that. Because <laughs> I'm guessing that I'm going to mess around with all this stuff. Whoa. Oh, I'm 
was gonna say I was kind of worried that this forest had so many dead trees just lying around, but I suppose if they already been killed by people do you see it? Kinda makes sense. I'm not gonna make that. Damn it! Oh, that's really annoying. I should have just aimed for that because like, I reckon I could have made that. I just wasn't sure where to go. Ah. So. Whoa! Whoa! They could be plus high life energy. Damage their attack effects with your energy count. Damage at zero energy results in death. Rita Swarm's addition are incredibly aggressive. It's vital to maintain a considerable distance between oneself and the swarm. Unless it sends a wave of attack range towards the victim. Like a bee's defense, swarms will suicide themselves to protect the rest of the cluster. Just needed a lot of energy, I guess. Okay, oh, now I'm seeing where all my energy is gonna go. That's kind of nice after dealing with the swarm. I get an upgrade. Of course, they have. Well, of course, they have. like it's trying to mesh Bioshock with like fun forest adventure. The Pathfinder dies while wearing a loose suit, they will revive at the cost of other nearby living things. be the thing I could have seen from when I was doing the following the roots before.
checkpoint one. Thank you. From what I've been told, the Sur has been discovered back in 1811 by a surveyor seeking to map this remote region. No one believed what he reportedly saw. Due to the sheer remoteness of this region, his story was written off as the senile delusion of an old man, and his tale was soon forgotten. It was not until recently that the government was approached by a scientist named Andrew Fisher to use this location as an alternative energy project of some sort. How he came to discover this place is beyond me. Fisher guy is the one who did our upgrade, wasn't it? Makes sense for him to know about it. Uh, from Private Sparks. McDavid's been riding me again. It's like a guy who can't take a nap anymore these days. I'm sure I was on guard duty at the time, but what am I guarding against? There's nothing out here. Yes, I saw a rabbit run by. It was the highlight of my day. Ha. Oh. Forest rights are like the quickest way to refill your energy. I wonder if they have more energy than normal creatures. Because they've got to be special for reason. Okay, I'm gonna do a really good running jump. Let's go. takes a couple of goes. I don't have to worry about the little things. I'm just gonna aim for the swarm. It's my acorn! I wanted an acorn. So the mishmash of like the military old war stuff and then like cutesy uh, forest adventures with acorns and sprites. It's a weird mix but I kind of like it. I don't know if it would be everyone's cup of tea but I think it's kind of cool. Thing that way or that way? Probably that way. Although that makes me think that maybe there's something hidden around there. Let's go for it. But I have used like three to get over here anyway. <laughs> so I don't know if that was worth it, but better than nothing. So I'm gonna try and not revive quite so many trees because the valley health is up there and I seem to be coming against these swarms a lot now. Oh! Okay. Oh, and they still come at you even though you've done it. So three shots seems to be enough. I 
think I might do it. I think I might take some energy. I'm taking it for one tree, giving it back to another. I feel like that's fair. Effectively, have unlimited energy if you're bothered enough to wait around. Oh shit, I was trying to see if I could do that without the double jump. This feels like a dead end. I probably opened a door somewhere. Yeah, they do respawn. Look, the energy have come back. Mr. Platform. I think I do have to go that way. What did I not see? Okay, all right, I've got to get a blender. These are still uh, everywhere. Whoa, this 
interesting because I was wondering whether these sort of like run-ups artificially sped you up to get you up there but it doesn't actually seem to be that way so yeah let's give this a real long run-up yeah much better and I shouldn't have to double jump either there we go beautiful Let's get some health back. Oh, the valley's some health. Okay, it's gonna attack me from here. Oh, that used a lot. Didn't even get hit. Uh, Before I do that, let's just have a look around first. I thought that was a swan then. Go from a worker. Working the pipes in this place is a real pain. It's as though they went out of their way to build their facility in the worst place imaginable. Just to make it tough on lowly pipe fitters like me. Repairing a pressure system leak takes me the half of a day just to get to it. They ain't pay me enough if you ask me. And they don't respect you enough to put your name on. They just put you a note from a worker. A worker. Okay, so that's why it leads me up here. I just thought I'd be double jumping. Uh. Ah. That'll be the uh, pipe that our worker fitted. Stay on the lookout for any intruders on the premises. A number of guards are reported seeing shadowy figures watching our operations from afar. Could be assigned possible espionage. Report trespasser sightings at once. Okay, so uh, someone was having um, a look around. Trying to see if they could see something. Or maybe they're more first grits. Reminder to all personnel please keep safe distance away from Amrita swarms. They often become territorially aggressive when in need of Amrita. If a swarm is blocking access for you, please request for a pathfinder to pacify the swarm. This looks like, for the huge thing that I've got on me, this feels like it shouldn't fit. I shouldn't fit in this. <laughs> but never mind, I'm not gonna argue. It's an incredible experience. No one outside myself can possibly observe it. The best way I can describe it as a, is as a daydream one sometimes gets lost in. I dive by falling into a lake, and the next second I'm standing by the shore. No one else being the wiser about what just happened to me. Is it even real? Yeah, something is 
himself up to new places with a viper coil. Allowing path riders to latch onto dead eye crane blocks. Each use of one unit of energy is possible. And how many upgrades is going to be across the whole targeting the dead eye? The viper coil upgrade to the leaf suit allows pathfinders to grapple onto certain target points within a limited range, allowing them to reach areas where jumps prove insufficient. Acorns, I've been fucking 33. <laughs> but a large portion of this valley mapped out so far. As far as I know, we've explored most of the acorn doors. Hey, there are a couple of squads with almost enough medallions to access that big step. So I don't know if I've been used in the dining chair. Cycle of birth, life, and life. birth, life, and death, affected by the karma fostered during one's life. Is that what pathfinders experience? Constantly dying in revival. According to Buddhism, there is no beginning to the cycle, but it can, however, be broken through and light. Okay, so this is where I need to
we go. I love that this board such as a program decided to use the dead eye crane blocks as part of their training. My engineers have been consistently putting themselves in harm's way to set them up. One poor fellow tragically fell to his death whilst stringing up a dead eye across a chasm. We don't even get to wear a down leaf suit, otherwise we may have lived. What a waste. I can't run away. Uh, should I be looking for this dead eye? So hard on yourself. They love it. <laughs> they can't get enough of the American history. Yeah. So 
that was me trying to get ahead of <laughs> the thing and uh, pacify it before it started shooting shit at me. However, it seems to do that once you start interacting with it anyway. Um, but at least I didn't really get hurt this time. Uh, Note from a researcher. Pathfinder squad point tally from the DNA site. Land sharks 48, raptors 43, valkyries 37, book riders 37, wild roses 29. <laughs> There's enough of these suits for there to be teams. Where have all these suits gone then? If everyone was wearing one. <laughs> and there was a shitload of them. Uh, oh, uh, everyone here thinks I'm a liar. No one believes I got attacked by a grizzly bear during one of my runs. Luckily I managed to extract its life before it could swipe at my face. Got real far before turning back to return its life energy. Hope I never see the likes of him again. So the fact that this place is called Soma really makes me nervous because I've seen a let's play of the game Soma and that thing's fucking creepy. Right, okay, I'm gonna have to do a run up I think and then and then try and hook this thing. Uh, maybe the jump as well? Oh. I think I got lucky there and landed on something that I shouldn't have landed on. <laughs> uh, okay, I was trying to open that, that one, but am I? No, from a pathfinder, these medallions are getting cleaned up fast. Getting into that pyramid first is going to be tough. Hopefully, I find some more quick. I want to be the first to explore it. So, was the medallions part of the exercise? Like, with this is one huge exercise, and they're all racing to be first to do it. I messed that up massively. Boxes. So it'd be nice if some of these boxes had other things in. It's now starting to get a little bit repetitive. Something other than the uh, notes, medallions, and acorns. I mean, if you can get acorns from trees, I think I'd rather that be the only way to find them, and then maybe them being in the crates as a rarity would make it a little bit more balanced. <gasps> Another dramatic piano. There it is. Sprites are here. Before we get that way, I'm gonna go over here and explore. Oh, is this one abandoned? Where did it go? Where did it go? So, quite a lot of nothing. Oh, 
we go. Right, we'll go back to the front. Sorry! <laughs> I see a hand hovering and I want to press X. So, okay, is so this like energy filling sweets? I think that's the first time we've seen those. These like fill up a whole thing. Uh, they weren't in that one, they were back. Uh -huh. oh. So, four, yeah, so it's like a whole pod's worth. Ah, that's really good. But that makes me think that I'm about to start using a shitload of energy. The, if there's going to be loads of these hanging around, there's going to be no need to take from nature. So it seems like it's going to be quite easy to go through and not take anything from an animal, which I kind of thought it was going to try and make it be. I mean, I've, I've been kind of wrong before, um, so we'll see. Don't really know where I'm going, I'm just sort of having a look around. But... to get back but it seems like the way you go. Retail storage. I mean if you basically have energy that- ah shit. Okay I'm gonna die because that seems like the easiest way. Oh look at those floating blocks. <laughs> If you have energy that can give friggin' life, then yeah, I can see why you'd want to store that. Oh, oh whoa, 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 holy shit! <laughs> okay! I was expecting that. So I was expecting it to put me back there. <laughs> So that one was 
like a different colour, so uh, they're obviously getting harder. Jump down, I'm just gonna look down here. No! Oh. What's the angle? What? Uh, yeah. Okay, it looks like there's just one energy, let's not waste time. Lastly, found with the valley which produced once every thousand years in the circle of tetris when the about the military taken to the summer facility for scientific purposes. Okay, I might call it a day there. Or a break. Uh, I'm gonna have a bathroom break. Maybe grab a snack. Um, I'm having a lot of fun, so I might come back today or I might save it for next week. Um, I hope you've had Fun. I've definitely enjoyed this a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, it's got some really fun mechanics. Uh, so, so far I, I'd recommend it. It's been on offer and it might still be on offer at about £6 something in the uh, PS4 sale, in the January sale. Um, so I'm having fun, so I'm definitely going to carry on with it. Uh, but thanks for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time.